We are here to kind of talk to our farmers and tell them the <coughs> correct position. It is okay for people to speculate. It's okay for people to give figures here and there. But it's important for the farmers to realize the very correct figure will can only come from people who are responsible for that particular work. And in this case, uh, the directors uh, who have been elected by the farmers. We are here to tell our farmers that we are with them every inch of the way. We were elected on a reform agenda and we are very keen to, to ensure that the farmers' views are taken into account whenever we are doing things. It is the intention to pay them the best we can. But like the board member has said, this will be determined by how the factories have performed uh, for the first half year. So uh, whatever else is being said out there, though we don't want to say it so bad, we can't want to clarify that is speculative. And each factory will have to pay at a rate that it can afford. But whatever it is, this will be done in the best interest of the farmer. We have uh, a meeting where we all meet uh, as directors to discuss the issues that affect our farmers uh, on the ground. And that is the main agenda today. We were elected by the farmers and uh, whatever we decide today will affect the, the farmers. It's of course uh, our objective that um, uh, whatever information we have, we relate to the farmers. The uh, issues that have emerged since the last uh, meeting we held, uh, because we are now getting to the, the, the time that we declare mini bonus, and the issues of mini bonus are now um, at hand. Uh, however, there are some certain people that have gone round talking about, about how much we have declared. We want to tell the farmers that uh, we, as a, uh, steel factories and their directors, we have not as yet uh, met to decide uh, how much is payable uh, as a mini bonus for this zone. And um, those ones who have gone around um, declaring uh, 10 shillings, uh, they have no authority from us, neither do they have any authority from the, uh, from the farmers themselves. We are the spokesmen uh, of uh, tea factories that uh, affect this uh, Moranga North uh, area. Uh, so we want to dispel um, any other person, uh, and in particular, um, uh, Irongo Nyakera, he has gone on, um, uh, on Twitter, he has uh, stated about the payment. He doesn't have any authority from us, neither does he have any authority from the, our farmers. So we would urge the farmers from this area to wait for the meetings that uh, are going to be scheduled in this month of February to look at the accounts and for us to uh, be able to declare the amount. It is always a process uh, that uh, the board must be given information by the management in terms of the accounts on the performance of each factory and the, as a result of that information the board makes uh, informed decisions in terms of uh, the amount that is payable. There are of course various decisions uh, that, are, that come with it in terms of the past performance and what is expected by the factories to perform. So it's not a decision that is made out of, um, uh, out of the blue sky. Uh, the information is based on data that comes from the actual sales and delivery of uh, 